In our era of profound interconnectedness, where the digital and physical realms intertwine, the ease with which we can inadvertently reveal too much of ourselves is markedly heightened. This phenomenon permeates both our face-to-face -face interactions and our engagements within the ubiquitous domain of social media. Though there is undeniable merit in cultivating transparency and vulnerability, key ingredients in forging authentic connections and nurturing empathetic understanding, the time-honored teachings of Stoicism call our attention to the crucial practice of safeguarding certain facets of our existence. In the forthcoming video discourse, I intend to delve into specific personal aspects and scenarios that warrant discretion. These are elements of our lives that derive no benefit from public disclosure. Embracing privacy yields considerable advantages, not only in strategic terms but also in the pursuit of internal tranquility. For our audience, who seeks wisdom in stoicism or philosophical enlightenment, I assure you that this video will serve as a beacon, guiding you in the application of stoicism within the context of our contemporary society. Stoicism, with its ancient roots deeply embedded in Greek and Roman thought, imparts timeless guidance on navigating the delicate balance between openness and prudence. In this analytical treatise, we will probe into seven specific advisories from Stoicism regarding what should remain concealed from public view. This exploration aims to illuminate the enduring significance of Stoic philosophy in our modern lives. Before we embark on this journey of discovery, I kindly request that you subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. This ensures you remain abreast of our empowering and insightful content. And, as is our constant endeavor, strive to actualize the finest version of your being. Number 1. The Conquests of Yesteryear In the odyssey of existence, we each engage in numerous battles, endure myriad struggles, and surmount a plethora of challenges. These confrontations, often waged in the seclusion of our innermost sanctum, need not be unveiled to the world. Your historical combats, the tribulations you have vanquished, do not require external comprehension or recognition. To divulge these episodes in full might inadvertently convey a semblance of self-aggrandizement, an implicit plea for approbation for your lived experiences. The essence of one's persona is indelibly sculpted by these conflicts and adversities. Yet, it is not obligatory to broadcast these experiences, to use them as crutches or as defining narratives. These moments of trial have served as the anvil upon which the steel of your character was forged, endowing you with sagacity, resilience, and an indomitable spirit. While your past has inexorably shaped you, it is not essential for others to intimately perceive the anguish and trials you have transcended. Your history, replete with its battles, has contributed to your current stature, yet it is your discretion that determines the extent of its revelation. What is imperative for others to discern is not the intricacies of your struggles, but rather the evolution and metamorphosis that has transpired within you. Indeed, it is more laudable for an individual to eschew an undue preoccupation with bygone days, choosing instead to dwell in the vibrant immediacy of the now. True demonstration of one's caliber and life's journey is expressed through deeds, not mere declarations. It is not a matter of vaunting one's historical tribulations, but rather a display of one's aptitude and resilience in tangible actions. In this way, one transcends a simple chronicle of victory and becomes a living embodiment of the indomitable human spirit. Consider, for instance, a man named David, whose life's tapestry has been woven with diverse challenges. He has navigated the grief of losing a loved one, faced the rigors of unemployment, and shouldered the immense responsibility of single-handedly nurturing his children. These trials have catalyzed profound transformations in David's life, marking pivotal points in his personal evolution. Opting not to publicly narrate his adversities, David instead chose to inhabit the present moment with positivity. He harnessed each opportunity and cultivated a supportive and enriching milieu for his children. David refrained from dwelling on his struggles in conversation, his actions spoke louder than any recounting could. He manifested patience, fortitude, and benevolence, extending a helping hand within his community. The transformation within David did not go unnoticed. His community bore witness to the remarkable change, not through his recollections of past hardships, but through the palpable impact he had on those around him. By embodying his experiences in his present actions, David illustrated that he had not only faced battles but had emerged as a robust and invaluable pillar of society. This narrative underscores that it is through living, not just recounting, that one's true journey is understood and appreciated. Number 2. The Delicate Art of Concealing Your Ambitions 
There is a discernible wisdom in maintaining the particulars of your aspirations close to your chest. While it may be common knowledge to others the broad strokes of your future trajectory, consider the ramifications of exposing the granular specifics of your quest. This is analogous to allowing unfettered access to your personal diary. In doing so, you inadvertently cede a degree of control over your own narrative. Should your plans deviate from their intended course, a mire of doubt ensues. Was it a personal misjudgment, or did someone else's knowledge of your plans play a role? The source of any potential derailment becomes an enigma, shrouded in a fog of possibilities. It could be an innocuous inquiry from a well-intentioned acquaintance or the machinations of someone with less noble intentions. It is, therefore, paramount to guard the finer details of your ambitions with utmost care. Often, a mere indication of the direction you are headed suffices. There is no onus upon you to lay bare the intricate map of your journey for others to see. After all, in the odyssey of life, you are your own most reliable confidant. Your journey is singularly yours, and there is no obligation to dispense its intimate specifics to others. Remember, in the pursuit of your dreams, discretion is not just a strategy, it's a powerful tool for self-preservation and focus. The intricacies of your aspirations, guarding your vision, there exists profound wisdom in keeping the intimate knowledge of your goals solely within your own cognizance. Envision yourself as a sculptor, meticulously shaping a distinctive and invaluable work of art. Those in your orbit are aware that you are engaged in sculpting, yet the specifics of this creation remain a mystery. You have shared only that the sculpture will be a remarkable piece, destined for greatness. Now, suppose a day arrives when you decide to confide in a trusted friend, unveiling every minute detail of your sculpture, its form, dimensions, and the profound symbolism it embodies. However, as time unfolds, you come to the startling realization that information about your sculpture has permeated beyond this circle of trust. Knowledge of your art is now widespread, some individuals are attempting to replicate it, while others plot to usurp your efforts. In this scenario, your revelation has inadvertently led to a loss of control, exposing your creation to the risks of duplication or theft. This metaphor underscores the importance of discretion in sharing your aspirations. Had you chosen to merely inform others of your engagement in crafting a special sculpture, without divulging its intricate details, you could have safeguarded your artwork. Such restraint would have preserved the element of surprise and the unique value of your creation. In the journey towards your goals, it's vital to remember that sharing the existence of your ambitions is often enough. The meticulous specifics of your vision are a treasure to be closely guarded, ensuring that the fruition of your efforts remains distinctly yours, untarnished by external influences or premature exposure. Number 3. The Exquisite Balance of Exhibiting Happiness in a world where joy and a buoyant spirit are often perceived as rarities, the expressions of genuine happiness carry a significant weight. This state of bliss, when authentically emanated, can cast a profound influence on the surrounding environment. The spectrum of responses it elicits varies widely, while some may look upon your joy with admiration and aspiration, others might regard it with a veil of skepticism. To a segment of observers, your heartfelt smile may emerge as a beacon of hope, yet for others, it might seem implausible, a concept too elusive to grasp in a world rife with turmoil. When approached about your well-being, it is pivotal to weigh your happiness with pride. Diminishing your sense of contentment does a disservice to your authentic state of being. In articulating your well-being, a subtle yet significant distinction can be made, rather than a simple affirmation of being well, you can assert with conviction and an unmistakable aura of positivity that you are indeed flourishing. This does not necessitate a grand exposition of your life's perfections, acknowledging that you are faring well amidst a landscape often shadowed by gloom and dissatisfaction suffices. The act of exuding happiness can, at times, be perceived as a venture fraught with risks. Those embittered or discontented may seek to disrupt the tranquility of those who have discovered their inner sanctum of peace. Nevertheless, the decision to embrace and disseminate your joy is an act of bravery. It serves not only as a personal affirmation of your state of bliss but also as a potential catalyst, inspiring others to embark on their quest for their own wellsprings of happiness and light. In a world where despair can be pervasive, your radiance of contentment becomes not just a personal achievement, but a beacon for others to follow. In an era where pessimism frequently casts its shadow, the authentic happiness you embody stands as a luminous beacon of hope, a testament to the possibility of achieving inner peace amidst the storms of life. 
It's imperative, therefore, to not shy away from letting your joy radiate, serving as a wellspring of inspiration to those in your milieu. Consider the example of John, a devout Christian navigating through an era riddled with challenges and anxiety. In his steadfast faith, John has discovered a reservoir of encouragement and hope, a sanctuary that imbues his daily existence with a consistent undercurrent of happiness and optimism. John's smile, a resilient beacon, remains undimmed even in the throes of adversity. When queried about his circumstances, John is never one to declare that his world is devoid of flaws. Rather, he chooses to affirm that things are manageable, his words always accompanied by a smile of gratitude, a reflection of his faith and his fortitude in the face of trials. This is not an act of concealing reality, but a deliberate choice to focus on the blessings and the strength derived from his faith. However, this unshakable positivity is not universally embraced. In John's life, there are those who view his perennial happiness with a lens of skepticism, questioning the authenticity of such optimism in a world brimming with hardships. They might perceive John as excessively idealistic, even doubting the genuineness of his demeanor. Crucially, John remains undeterred by these doubts. He continues to emanate his happiness and hope, unswayed by the skepticism that surrounds him. John's life is more than a testament to his faith, it is an embodiment of his belief manifested through unwavering happiness and optimism. He does not strive for a facade of perfection but rather leaves a lasting impression through his gratitude and positive spirit. Yet, in choosing to lead a life marked by positivity amidst a world often clouded by challenges, John inevitably encounters skepticism and discontent from others. Such is the price of choosing to walk a path of positivity in a world accustomed to pessimism. Despite this, John remains steadfast in his commitment to his ethos, refusing to let the negativity of others disrupt his spirit of resilience and hope. Number 4. The Imperative of Upholding Privacy in Romantic Relationships Within the intricate tapestry of nurturing a robust and enduring romantic relationship lies a principle often overlooked yet crucial, the imperative of maintaining the privacy of your relationship. This encompasses a conscious avoidance of broadcasting conflicts and intimate details, especially on the vast and impersonal stage of the Internet. Adhering to this practice can profoundly fortify the resilience and longevity of your romantic bond. When turbulence or disagreements surface in a relationship, the impulse to express your frustrations or seek counsel from friends and acquaintances can be compelling. However, it's essential to deliberate on the potential repercussions of such disclosures. Divulging the intimate intricacies of your relationship to others, particularly in the digital realm, can inadvertently erode the very bedrock you aim to solidify. Picture a scenario where you and your partner are navigating a significant challenge in your relationship, a matter that has introduced a strain and disquiet into your emotional landscape. Rather than engaging in a candid and constructive dialogue with your partner, you opt to confide everything to a close friend, driven by a desire for external advice and support. In this moment of vulnerability, it's vital to recognize the delicate balance between seeking guidance and protecting the sanctity of your relationship. While external perspectives can occasionally offer clarity, they also risk distorting the intimacy and trust that form the cornerstone of your bond. By discussing these issues openly with your partner instead of externalizing them, you foster an environment of mutual respect and understanding. This approach not only addresses the immediate challenge but also strengthens the foundation of your relationship, cultivating a deeper sense of connection and trust. Remember, the durability of a romantic relationship often hinges on the ability to navigate its complexities privately, preserving its unique intimacy from the prying eyes of the world. To address this quandary, you confide in your friend, detailing the unfolding events, your emotional state, and your aspiration to glean a fresh perspective. Yet, this course of action veers towards an unforeseen and less favorable path. As you unfold your narrative, your friend begins to interject with personal judgments and perspectives. Queries arise about the validity of your relationship. Suggestions on handling the situation are proffered, and even concerns regarding your partner's character are voiced. The conversation, initially intended to shed light on your predicament, gradually morphs into a platform for your friend's viewpoints and beliefs, overshadowing the original matter at hand. Consequently, the heart of the issue, the resolution of the specific conflict within your relationship, becomes eclipsed by a medley of external opinions. This shift exemplifies a crucial aspect often neglected in the pursuit of relationship harmony, the central role of internal communication and intimacy. 
While external advice can sometimes offer insights, it is the dialogue and understanding fostered within the bounds of the relationship that are most instrumental in nurturing its growth and vitality. Many individuals, in their quest to navigate the choppy waters of marital or relationship discord, turn outward, seeking external counsel. However, it's pivotal to remember that the most potent solutions and the deepest understanding often emerge from within the relationship itself. Open, honest, and empathetic communication between partners is the bedrock upon which a flourishing relationship is built. It's in these intimate exchanges, free from the cacophony of external voices, that true understanding and resolution can be found. Thus, while it is natural to seek support during challenging times, there is a profound value in focusing on the internal dynamics of your relationship. By prioritizing direct communication with your partner and nurturing the private sanctuary of your bond, you create a fertile ground for addressing issues effectively and fortifying the strength and longevity of your relationship. In their quest for solutions and understanding, many individuals turn to friends, family, or the vast expanse of the online community. This action, albeit well-intentioned, often inadvertently transforms their private struggles into fodder for public discourse and gossip. Recognizing this pitfall underlines a crucial truth, the vitality of your relationship is significantly dependent on your adeptness at maintaining a harmonious balance between intimacy and privacy. This balance entails the capacity to confront and navigate conflicts within the relationship without spilling every nuanced detail into the public domain. The true strength of your bond is cultivated and nourished within the consecrated confines of the space you and your partner collectively curate. It is a realm where candid and heartfelt communication is paramount, where conflicts are addressed directly, and where intimacy is allowed to bloom unfettered by external commentary. By consciously choosing not to divulge every facet of your relationship to others, you safeguard the sanctity of this shared space. This preservation ensures that it remains a bastion of strength and support for both you and your partner. The private sphere of your relationship becomes a sacred sanctuary, impervious to the external world's noise and interference. Thus, it is crucial to remember that while seeking advice and support holds its value, it is equally imperative to protect the privacy and intimacy that serve as the bedrock of your relationship. In doing so, you not only address immediate concerns but also fortify the foundations upon which your partnership thrives. The delicate act of balancing openness with discretion is not just a strategy for conflict resolution, it is a testament to the respect and reverence you hold for the unique and precious entity that is your relationship. Number 5. The Discretion of Financial Affairs Navigating the disclosure of one's financial situation requires a nuanced understanding of social dynamics and personal boundaries. First and foremost, it is essential to recognize that members of your social circle do not hold the professional roles of IRS agents or bank employees, hence, divulging intricate financial details to them is unnecessary. Furthermore, the revelation of your financial status, whether it signifies abundance or scarcity, can precipitate a range of unintended consequences. In instances where you are in a position of financial prosperity, making this known can inadvertently attract individuals with hidden agendas, who may perceive you as a potential wellspring for financial gain. On the other hand, if your financial circumstances are precarious and you openly acknowledge this, you may find yourself subjected to societal judgments and disdain. This reaction stems from pervasive societal norms that, regrettably, often correlate financial prosperity with personal worth and success. Given the intricate interplay between financial status and social perception, adopting a stance of ambiguity regarding your finances is a prudent strategy. Allowing others to speculate, while you maintain an enigmatic posture concerning your fiscal condition, serves multiple purposes. It ensures that your relationships are not clouded by financial considerations, either overt or subconscious. Disclosing financial distress or desperation carries its own set of risks, potentially jeopardizing future opportunities and altering the dynamics of your social interactions. People may unconsciously distance themselves, influenced by the complex web of perceptions tied to financial stability. In sum, the art of managing information about your financial situation lies in striking a balance between transparency and discretion. By carefully navigating these waters, you preserve both your personal integrity and the authenticity of your social interactions, ensuring that relationships and opportunities are not unduly influenced by financial considerations. Whether in the context of a job interview, a social event, or time spent among friends, the exhibition of desperation can have deleterious effects. 
Desperation not only disrupts the harmony of an interaction but also casts you in a burdensome light to those around you. It's critical to understand that desperation serves no constructive purpose in achieving your objectives. In reality, it can have the contrary effect, potentially alienating the very support or assistance that might be most beneficial. Should you find yourself in a situation where revealing financial instability seems an option, it's often more prudent to opt for discretion and maintain the privacy of your fiscal situation. This approach is not about deceit, rather, it is a strategic decision to manage perceptions and maintain your dignity. In summary, the embodiment of poise and confidence plays a pivotal role in how you are perceived by others. It's important to recognize that, in many social contexts, appearances carry substantial influence. Even in moments of internal uncertainty or financial adversity, projecting an aura of confidence can be instrumental in convincing others of your capability and control. This projection is not about fabricating a false persona but about emphasizing your strengths and maintaining composure, thereby instilling confidence in those you interact with. Remember, confidence is not just a display of external assurance, it's a testament to your ability to navigate challenging situations with grace and determination. Number 6. The Sanctity of Personal Trust and Confidences in Stoicism Stoicism, as a philosophical doctrine, places profound emphasis on the sanctity of trust and loyalty within the realm of personal relationships. This school of thought holds the revelation of others' confidences and vulnerabilities as a grave misstep, one that can lead to the deterioration of trust and the destabilization of the foundational pillars of our relationships. Adhering to the Stoic philosophy, the act of safeguarding the intimate secrets and vulnerabilities entrusted to us is not merely a matter of discretion, it is an embodiment of integrity and moral rectitude. Stoics recognize that the manner in which we handle such sensitive information is not only a reflection of our personal character but also an indicator of our ethical compass and the fundamental values we espouse. From the Stoic viewpoint, it is our duty to navigate the terrain of confidentiality with both wisdom and respect. The trust placed in us by others is not only a privilege but also a profound responsibility, a measure of our virtue and our dedication to the welfare of those in our circle. By exercising judicious restraint and protecting the private matters entrusted to us, we do more than exhibit our moral fiber, we actively contribute to the nurturing of strong, resilient relationships. These relationships, underpinned by unwavering trust and loyalty, become bastions of mutual respect and understanding, enabling both individuals to thrive within the safe confines of confidentiality. In essence, the stoic approach to personal relationships and confidences underscores the principle that true strength lies in the preservation of trust. It reminds us that our actions and choices in handling sensitive information have far-reaching implications, not just for our personal integrity, but for the health and longevity of the relationships we cherish. This stoic tenet serves as a poignant reminder that our conduct in managing the confidences of others is a direct reflection of our own character and moral stature, not only in our self-perception but also in the regard of the broader community. Envision a scenario where a close friend entrusts you with the intimate details of their personal struggles and anxieties. They have divulged the deepest emotions and secrets to you, placing their trust in you implicitly. You have pledged to keep this information confidential, affirming your commitment to stand by them in any circumstance. Subsequently, you receive an inquiry from another friend, who urges you to divulge the sensitive information you've been entrusted with. You find yourself at the crossroads of a moral dilemma, torn between your commitment to maintain your first friend's confidence and the request of the second friend. In adherence to stoic principles, your decision would be to respectfully decline to share any details with the second friend, thereby upholding the trust and confidentiality reposed in you by the first. This scenario is emblematic of the practice of discretion and ethical integrity when confronted with the expectations of others. By choosing to protect the confidences of your first friend, you not only honor your promise but also reinforce the foundations of a relationship built on trust. Such a decision is a testament to your commitment to ethical principles and respect for the sanctity of personal trust. In doing so, you exemplify the stoic ideal of moral fortitude, demonstrating that the preservation of trust is paramount, transcending the allure of gossip or the pressure of external curiosity. This, in essence, is the embodiment of Stoic wisdom in action, the recognition that our choices in handling confidential information are deeply interwoven with the fabric of our character and the integrity of our relationships. Number 7. Upholding Ethics and Personal Values in the Stoic Tradition 
Stoicism stands as a beacon, steadfastly highlighting the paramount importance of maintaining our moral integrity and values, even when external influences and societal expectations beckon us to stray from our foundational principles. In an era where conformity and the pursuit of external validation frequently entice individuals to abandon their deeply held convictions, Stoicism remains a resolute philosophy, firmly advocating for an unwavering commitment to virtue and ethical behavior amidst the relentless societal pressures. Stoicism calls upon us to be staunch and unflinching, to eschew the temptation of altering our core values or beliefs simply to align with transient societal norms or to satiate the whims of public opinion. It underscores the notion that our ethical compass should remain steadfast, serving as a constant guide through the multifaceted and often turbulent journey of life. This Stoic principle invites us to reflect deeply on the essence of our personal values and ethics, recognizing them as the bedrock of our character. It urges us to cultivate a strong sense of self, grounded in our convictions, so that we may stand resolute in the face of challenges, temptations, and the vicissitudes of public sentiment. Stoicism teaches us that true strength and honor lie not in acquiescence to external pressures but in the unwavering adherence to our inner moral code. By embracing this Stoic wisdom, we not only affirm our own integrity but also contribute to a more principled and authentic society. In doing so, we embody the Stoic ideal of living a life of virtue, a life where our actions and decisions are harmoniously aligned with our deepest ethical convictions. This commitment to personal values and ethics, unswayed by the ever-shifting tides of societal expectations, is the hallmark of a life lived with purpose, dignity, and Stoic resolve. By embracing this Stoic wisdom, we not only preserve our moral integrity but also serve as a beacon of inspiration for others. Our demonstration of the strength and resilience of character that emanates from a staunch commitment to living in alignment with our highest ideals and principles is both powerful and influential. Stoicism, in its profound essence, is a philosophical guide that summons us to develop an inner fortitude that rises above the fleeting tides of external circumstances and societal pressures. This ancient philosophy teaches us that our values and moral backbone should remain steadfast, unswayed by the tempests of public opinion or the seductive appeal of conformity. The sagacious insights of Stoic philosophers resonate through time, offering a perennial reminder that in our quest for wisdom and virtue, it is crucial to cling tenaciously to our principles. These teachings warn us against the pervasive currents that incessantly endeavor to divert us from our path of ethical righteousness. The Stoic doctrine provides us with a framework to uphold our moral compass amidst life's complexities, thereby leading lives imbued with genuine integrity and authenticity. It instills in us the understanding that our true strength lies not in external validation or societal acceptance, but in the unwavering adherence to our core ethical beliefs and values. Through Stoicism, we are afforded the tools to navigate life's journey with moral clarity, ensuring that our actions and decisions are consistently reflective of our deepest convictions. In this way, Stoicism emerges not just as a philosophy of personal development but as a guiding light towards a life of purpose, dignity, and principled living. Imagine Alex, a devout Christian, navigating a society increasingly characterized by rampant greed and intense competition. His life has been shaped by principles of respect, tolerance, and love for others, virtues deeply ingrained through his faith and the teachings of the Bible. Yet, in this climate of relentless ambition and material pursuit, Alex frequently finds himself at odds with prevailing societal norms. One day, Alex is presented with a lucrative business prospect. This opportunity promises significant financial returns in a remarkably short time frame. However, there's a catch. Participation in this venture requires engaging in practices that are unethical and lack transparency. To seize this chance would mean compromising his deeply held principles and potentially causing harm to others. In this pivotal moment, Alex turns to Stoicism for guidance. Faced with the temptation of immediate personal gain versus the steadfast adherence to his moral code, he chooses the latter. Alex decides to decline a business offer, reaffirming his commitment to ethics, respect, and tolerance. This decision is not made lightly, as he is acutely aware of the potential material benefits he is foregoing. Alex's choice epitomizes the essence of Stoic wisdom in action. He recognizes that true value and fulfillment do not lie in fleeting material success or societal accolades but in living a life aligned with one's ethical convictions. By opting to uphold his moral integrity, Alex not only honors his own values but also sets a powerful example for others. 
He demonstrates that success and contentment can be pursued without sacrificing one's principles, and that in the long run, integrity is a far more valuable asset than transient wealth or acclaim. In a world where the pressure to conform and succeed can often blur ethical boundaries, Alex's story serves as a reminder of the enduring strength and relevance of Stoic philosophy. It underscores the importance of remaining true to one's values, even in the face of societal pressures and the allure of quick gains. Through his actions, Alex embodies the Stoic ideal of moral resilience, showing that it is possible to navigate life's challenges with virtue and dignity. Alex's steadfast adherence to his principles indeed epitomizes a remarkable strength of character. By choosing to act in accordance with his values, he not only upholds his own moral integrity but also becomes a source of inspiration for others. His actions eloquently illustrate the profound impact and power of living in alignment with one's higher values. While the seven aspects previously discussed form a fundamental part of Stoic guidance on what not to expose to others, Stoicism also offers additional wisdom that can aid in navigating life's complexities and enhancing our relationships. 1. Avoidance of negative judgments and gossip. Stoicism advocates for restraint in passing negative judgments on others and discourages participation in gossip. This practice is rooted in the belief that indulging in such behaviors not only reflects poorly on our character but also contributes to a harmful and toxic environment. When we engage in criticism or gossip about others, we inadvertently reveal our own character flaws and create a negative atmosphere. By abstaining from these actions, we preserve our moral integrity and cultivate healthier, more positive interactions with those around us. Two. Perspective on fear of death and mortality, Stoicism also addresses our attitudes towards death and our own mortality. While it's natural for humans to ponder over their finite existence, an excessive preoccupation with the concept of death can breed anxiety and a sense of despair. Stoicism teaches us to accept death as a natural part of life and encourages us to focus on living our present lives with virtue and purpose. By adopting a stoic perspective on mortality, we learn to live life more fully, appreciating the present moment without being overshadowed by the fear of death. These additional facets of stoic wisdom, coupled with the seven key aspects previously outlined, offer a comprehensive guide for living a life of integrity, purpose, and harmony. By integrating these principles into our daily lives, we can navigate the various challenges we face with a sense of moral clarity and inner peace. Stoicism, thus, becomes not just a philosophy but a practical toolkit for fostering resilience, ethical strength, and meaningful relationships in our lives. Stoicism, a philosophy deeply rooted in the acceptance of life's inevitable challenges, offers a profound understanding of the human condition, particularly in relation to the inescapability of death. This ancient wisdom encourages us to recognize and accept our mortality, but not to be preoccupied with it. By doing so, we can engage more fully with the present, concentrating our efforts on what is within our control, our actions, responses, and the virtues we strive to develop. This approach helps in fostering a life that is not just endured, but genuinely lived and appreciated. Moreover, Stoicism places significant emphasis on the handling of past regrets and resentments. It teaches us the futility of clinging to grudges or incessantly reflecting on our previous errors. Such behaviors can encumber us, dragging down our mental and emotional well-being. The Stoic philosophy advocates for a constructive reflection on past actions, learning from them, yet not allowing them to dictate our present or shape our future. There is great power in practicing forgiveness and releasing resentments. This liberates us from the heavy chains of past grievances, allowing us to move forward with a lighter heart and a clearer mind. Furthermore, Stoicism provides valuable guidance regarding personal achievements and successes. Contrary to what might be expected, this philosophy counsels against boasting of one's accomplishments. Stoicism places a high value on humility and modesty, teaching that true success is found not in external accolades or recognition but in living a life aligned with virtue. By refraining from excessive self-promotion, we preserve our humility and remain steadfast on the path of virtue. This orientation helps us to see the intrinsic value in our achievements, seeking excellence not for applause or acclaim, but for the inner peace and contentment it brings. Such a perspective ensures that our successes are not just milestones of achievement, but stepping stones towards a more virtuous and fulfilling life. Number 8. The Virtue of Moderation in Self-Expression Stoicism teaches the importance of moderation in how we express ourselves and share our lives with others. 
In a world that often encourages excessive self-revelation and the constant broadcasting of our experiences, Stoicism advises a more restrained and thoughtful approach. This concept of moderation extends to various facets of our lives, including how we share our emotions, personal achievements, and even our daily activities. The Stoic perspective suggests that there is great value in choosing wisely what to share and what to keep private. By practicing moderation in self-expression, we cultivate an internal locus of control and maintain a sense of personal dignity. This approach helps us avoid the pitfalls of seeking constant external validation or becoming overly influenced by the opinions and judgments of others. In practical terms, this means being selective about the personal details we divulge in conversations, on social media, or in other public forums. It's about recognizing that not every thought, feeling, or experience needs to be shared broadly. This discretion not only protects our privacy but also enhances the quality of our interactions with others. When we share selectively, our words carry more weight, and our interactions become more meaningful. This stoic principle also encourages us to reflect on the impact of our words and actions on others. By being mindful of how we express ourselves, we can foster more respectful and empathetic communication. We learn to strike a balance between being open and maintaining a healthy boundary, thus nurturing more authentic and lasting relationships. In essence, the virtue of moderation in self-expression teaches us that there is strength in silence and wisdom in thoughtfulness. By applying this stoic guidance, we can navigate our interconnected world with grace and composure, preserving our inner peace and cultivating deeper connections with those around us. Number 9. Embracing Stoic Resilience in the Face of Adversity and Uncertainty In an ever-changing and often unpredictable world, Stoicism offers profound insights into managing adversity and uncertainty with composure and resilience. This philosophical guidance extends beyond merely keeping certain aspects private, it encompasses a broader spectrum of emotional and mental fortitude in the face of life's inevitable challenges. Stoicism teaches us to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. This differentiation is crucial in dealing with adversity. By focusing on our responses, actions, and attitudes towards unforeseen events, rather than the events themselves, we cultivate a sense of agency and empowerment. This stoic approach helps us remain anchored in the midst of turbulence, enabling us to respond to difficulties with clarity and strength. In practice, embracing stoic resilience involves a conscious effort to maintain inner tranquility despite external upheavals. It means acknowledging our emotions in the face of adversity, yet not allowing them to overwhelm or dictate our actions. We learn to view challenges as opportunities for growth and development, embracing them with a mindset of perseverance and learning. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to view uncertainty not as a source of fear or anxiety, but as a natural and inherent part of life. By adopting a Stoic mindset, we can approach uncertain situations with curiosity and openness, rather than apprehension. This shift in perspective allows us to navigate life's unpredictabilities with a sense of equanimity and grace. Stoic resilience also involves the cultivation of virtues such as courage, wisdom, and temperance. These virtues serve as guiding principles in how we handle difficult situations. Courage enables us to confront challenges head-on, wisdom guides us in making prudent decisions, and temperance helps us maintain balance and restraint in our reactions. The practice of stoic resilience extends to our interactions with others. It teaches us to be compassionate and supportive, recognizing that everyone faces their own battles. By being empathetic and kind, we not only strengthen our own resilience but also contribute to a supportive and understanding community. Furthermore, Stoicism encourages reflective introspection as a tool for resilience. Regular self-examination helps us align our actions with our values, ensuring that we live authentically and with purpose. This introspection also fosters self-awareness, allowing us to understand our strengths and areas for growth, thereby enhancing our ability to cope with life's challenges. In essence, embracing stoic resilience in the face of adversity and uncertainty is about developing a robust inner foundation. It's about building a mindset that views challenges as part of the human experience, opportunities for growth and learning. By integrating these stoic principles into our lives, we enhance our ability to navigate the complexities of the modern world with a sense of calm, purpose, and strength. 
This resilience not only benefits us individually but also enriches our relationships and the broader community, as we become beacons of stability and hope in an ever-changing world. Number 10. The Stoic Practice of Mindful Reflection and Personal Growth Stoicism, with its deep roots in mindful introspection and self-improvement, offers invaluable guidance on the importance of private, reflective practice for personal growth. This aspect of Stoicism emphasizes the significance of regularly taking time to introspect and evaluate our thoughts, actions, and life's direction. By doing so, we can align our behaviors with our core values and principles, leading to a more fulfilling and authentic life. Mindful reflection in Stoicism involves a deliberate and thoughtful examination of one's daily experiences and decisions. This practice is not about harsh self-criticism or dwelling on past mistakes. Instead, it's about observing our actions and their motivations with a sense of curiosity and a desire to learn and grow. By engaging in this reflective process, we gain deeper insights into our character, recognize patterns in our behavior, and identify areas where we can improve. This stoic practice also extends to setting aside time for solitude and quiet contemplation. In an era where constant connectivity and noise are the norms, finding moments of solitude can be challenging yet incredibly rewarding. These moments allow us to disconnect from external distractions and focus inward, exploring our thoughts and emotions in a space free from the influence of others. This solitude is not about isolation but about creating an environment where we can connect more deeply with ourselves. Incorporating mindful reflection into our routine encourages us to be more present and aware in our daily lives. It helps us develop a greater understanding of our reactions to various situations and how these reactions align with our values. This awareness enables us to make more deliberate and thoughtful choices, rather than reacting impulsively or being swayed by external pressures. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us the value of learning from every experience, whether positive or negative. Each situation, interaction, or challenge presents an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. By adopting this mindset, we cultivate resilience and adaptability, essential qualities for navigating life's complexities. The Stoic practice of mindful reflection and personal growth also includes setting and pursuing personal goals that are in harmony with our ethical and philosophical beliefs. These goals are not just about external achievements but about fostering virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. By striving towards these goals, we not only improve ourselves but also contribute positively to the lives of those around us. In summary, the Stoic practice of mindful reflection and personal growth is a powerful tool for personal development. It allows us to live more consciously, aligning our actions with our deepest convictions, and nurturing our inner peace and wisdom. By embracing this practice, we embark on a continuous journey of self-improvement, becoming better equipped to face life's challenges with grace, strength, and a deep sense of purpose. Number 11. The Stoic Emphasis on Constructive Community Engagement and Selective Sharing Stoicism, with its focus on wisdom and virtue, encourages a deliberate approach to our interactions within our communities and circles. It highlights the importance of constructive engagement and selective sharing, advocating for a balance between contributing positively to society and maintaining personal boundaries. This principle of Stoicism teaches us to be thoughtful and intentional about what we share and how we engage with others, ensuring that our actions are beneficial both to ourselves and the community. Engaging constructively in our communities means participating in ways that are aligned with our values and that contribute to the common good. It involves using our skills, knowledge, and experiences to support and uplift those around us. This could manifest in various forms, such as volunteering, mentoring, or simply being a supportive and empathetic presence in others' lives. The Stoic approach encourages us to be active and positive contributors to our communities, but to do so in a way that is authentic and not driven by the desire for recognition or reward. Selective sharing in this context refers to the mindful disclosure of personal information, opinions, and experiences in public or community settings. Stoicism teaches us to share what is helpful and constructive, and to refrain from divulging details that might not serve a beneficial purpose or that could compromise our privacy or integrity. This doesn't mean being secretive or closed off, rather, it's about exercising discretion and choosing to share what is appropriate and likely to foster understanding, empathy, and meaningful connections. This stoic principle also extends to our engagement in modern digital communities, such as social media platforms. 
In these spaces, the line between public and private can become blurred, and the impulse to share extensively is often amplified. Stoicism advises a thoughtful approach to our digital interactions, encouraging us to consider the impact of our online presence and the content we share. By being selective and intentional in our digital engagements, we can create a positive and authentic online persona that reflects our true values and contributes positively to the digital community. Moreover, the Stoic approach to community engagement emphasizes the importance of listening and learning from others. It advocates for an open-minded and respectful discourse, where different perspectives are valued and considered. This approach fosters a sense of mutual respect and understanding, crucial elements for a healthy and thriving community. In essence, the Stoic emphasis on constructive community engagement and selective sharing is about finding a harmonious balance between being a positive force in society and maintaining our own well-being and privacy. By applying this principle, we can enrich our communities and ourselves, creating a more empathetic, thoughtful, and virtuous society. Number 12. The Stoic Principle of Self-Sufficiency and Emotional Autonomy Stoicism teaches the importance of cultivating self-sufficiency and emotional autonomy, emphasizing the value of relying on one's inner resources to face life's challenges. This principle encourages individuals to develop a strong sense of independence, not just in terms of physical or financial needs, but more crucially, in emotional and psychological aspects. Self-sufficiency in Stoicism is about building an inner fortress that shields us from being overly dependent on external factors for our happiness and well-being. It involves nurturing a mindset where our sense of contentment and peace is primarily derived from within, rather than from external accolades, possessions, or the approval of others. This does not imply a life of isolation or emotional detachment, rather, it's about developing resilience and a deep-rooted sense of self that remains stable irrespective of external circumstances. Emotional autonomy, a key aspect of this principle, refers to the ability to manage our emotions and responses independently. It involves understanding that while we cannot always control external events, we have the power to control our reactions to them. This aspect of Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of our emotional responses, to observe them without judgment, and to make conscious choices about how we react to various situations. This Stoic principle also stresses the importance of self-reflection and introspection as tools for achieving emotional autonomy. By regularly examining our thoughts, beliefs, and emotions, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. This understanding enables us to identify and challenge any irrational or harmful thought patterns that might be influencing our emotions and behaviors. Moreover, self-sufficiency and emotional autonomy in Stoicism are closely linked to the concept of virtue. Stoics believe that true happiness and fulfillment are found in living a life of virtue, in practicing wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. By striving to embody these virtues in our daily lives, we build a strong foundation of self-sufficiency and emotional autonomy that guides us through life's challenges with composure and clarity. In practical terms, applying this stoic principle involves cultivating habits and practices that enhance our self-sufficiency. This could include setting personal goals, engaging in activities that promote self-growth, practicing mindfulness and meditation, and seeking knowledge and wisdom. It also means being mindful of our dependencies, whether on people, material possessions, or social validation, and working towards reducing them. In essence, the Stoic principle of self-sufficiency and emotional autonomy teaches us to be our own anchor in life. It encourages us to build a strong, independent inner self that is capable of weathering life's storms with grace and resilience. By embracing this principle, we empower ourselves to lead a more balanced, content, and fulfilling life, anchored in our own virtues and inner strength. Number 13. The Stoic Concept of Responsible and Mindful Communication Stoicism emphasizes the importance of responsible and mindful communication, advocating for a thoughtful and intentional approach to how we interact with others. This concept extends beyond the realm of personal privacy and touches on the broader ethical implications of our words and actions in everyday interactions. Responsible communication in Stoicism involves being aware of the impact our words can have on others. It teaches us to speak with honesty and integrity, avoiding deceit or manipulation. Stoics believe that our speech should be reflective of our inner virtues and should contribute positively to the well-being of others. This means refraining from hurtful, rash, or impulsive comments and instead choosing words that are kind, constructive, and helpful. 
Mindful communication also includes active listening, being fully present in conversations, showing genuine interest in others' thoughts and feelings, and responding with empathy and understanding. This approach fosters deeper connections and mutual respect, creating a foundation for more meaningful and fulfilling relationships. The stoic approach to communication also stresses the value of silence and restraint. Not every situation requires our input or opinion, and sometimes the most powerful response is thoughtful silence. This principle encourages us to consider when to speak and when to listen, recognizing that silence can often be as impactful as words. In the context of conflict or disagreement, Stoicism advises a calm and composed demeanor. It encourages us to address differences with reason and equanimity, avoiding emotional reactions that can escalate tensions. By maintaining a level-headed approach, we are more likely to reach resolutions that are fair and respectful to all parties involved. Furthermore, Stoicism recognizes the power of words to shape our thoughts and perspectives. It advises us to use language that fosters a positive and virtuous outlook on life, avoiding negative or defeatist expressions that can cloud our judgment and affect our mood. In summary, the stoic concept of responsible and mindful communication is about harnessing the power of our words to create a positive impact in our interactions and relationships. It's about speaking with purpose and integrity, listening with empathy, and choosing silence wisely. By adopting this stoic principle, we contribute to a more harmonious, understanding, and virtuous world. Number 14. The Stoic Practice of Balanced Emotional Investment Stoicism teaches the value of maintaining a balanced emotional investment in both personal and external matters. This principle is grounded in the Stoic understanding that while emotions are a natural part of the human experience, they should not dominate our decision-making or well-being. Stoics advocate for a measured approach to emotions, cultivating an equilibrium that allows us to experience feelings without being overwhelmed or controlled by them. Balanced emotional investment means engaging with our emotions in a way that is proportional to the nature and significance of the situation at hand. It involves recognizing and accepting our emotions, but also maintaining a level of detachment that prevents them from dictating our actions or clouding our judgment. This balance is crucial in both personal relationships and in our responses to broader life events. In personal relationships, this stoic practice advises us to care deeply for others, but without becoming excessively attached or dependent on them for our happiness. It teaches us to value and nurture our connections, while also acknowledging the transient nature of external relationships. By doing so, we can love and engage with others genuinely, yet remain resilient in the face of change or loss. In terms of external events, balanced emotional investment encourages us to remain engaged and active in the world around us, but without becoming overly attached to specific outcomes. This approach allows us to work towards goals and ideals with passion and dedication, but also to accept outcomes that may be beyond our control. By maintaining this balance, we can pursue our objectives with vigor, yet remain equanimous in the face of success or failure. This stoic principle also encompasses the concept of emotional agility, the ability to navigate through different emotional states with awareness and flexibility. Emotional agility enables us to adapt to varying circumstances and challenges, managing our emotions in a way that is appropriate to the context and constructive for our well-being. Furthermore, balanced emotional investment is closely linked to the stoic concept of equanimity. Equanimity refers to a state of calmness and composure, especially in difficult situations. By practicing balanced emotional investment, we cultivate equanimity, enabling us to face life's ups and downs with a sense of peace and stability. In practice, achieving balanced emotional investment involves techniques such as mindfulness, self-reflection, and the regular examination of our values and responses. It also involves cultivating virtues like wisdom, which helps us discern the appropriate level of emotional investment in different situations, and courage, which allows us to confront challenging emotions with strength. In essence, the stoic practice of balanced emotional investment is about finding harmony between feeling deeply and maintaining an inner tranquility. It's about engaging with life's emotional spectrum while retaining a core of stability and resilience. By integrating this practice into our lives, we can navigate our emotional landscape with wisdom and grace, enhancing our overall well-being and capacity for fulfillment. Number 15. The Stoic Emphasis on Personal Accountability and Continuous Self-Improvement Stoicism places great importance on the concept of personal accountability and the continuous pursuit of self-improvement. 
This principle encourages individuals to take responsibility for their actions and decisions, and to view every experience as an opportunity for personal growth and development. Personal accountability in Stoicism involves acknowledging that we are the architects of our own character and fate. It teaches that while we cannot control external events, we have full control over our reactions, choices, and attitudes. This perspective empowers us to take ownership of our lives, accepting both the successes and failures as products of our actions and decisions. Continuous self-improvement is a core aspect of Stoic philosophy. Stoics believe in the constant pursuit of virtue and wisdom, striving to better themselves in all aspects of life. This pursuit is not driven by a desire for perfection or external validation, but by an intrinsic motivation to live a life of moral and intellectual integrity. This Stoic principle also underscores the importance of learning from mistakes and setbacks. Instead of viewing failures as purely negative experiences, Stoicism encourages us to analyze them, extract valuable lessons, and use them as stepping stones for future success. This approach fosters resilience, adaptability, and the growth mindset. In terms of practical application, personal accountability and continuous self-improvement involve regular self-examination and reflection. This could include evaluating one's daily actions, setting personal goals for improvement, and actively seeking new knowledge and experiences that challenge and expand one's perspectives. Moreover, Stoicism advocates for a humble acceptance of constructive criticism and feedback. By remaining open to external insights and viewpoints, we can gain a deeper understanding of our strengths and weaknesses, further fueling our journey of self-improvement. Stoicism also teaches the value of patience and persistence in the pursuit of personal growth. True improvement is often a gradual process, requiring consistent effort and dedication. Stoics emphasize the importance of staying committed to one's goals, even in the face of obstacles or slow progress. In essence, the Stoic emphasis on personal accountability and continuous self-improvement is about embracing a proactive and reflective approach to life. It encourages us to take charge of our own development, constantly seeking ways to enhance our character and understanding. By integrating this principle into our lives, we cultivate a sense of purpose, direction, and fulfillment, continually evolving towards the best version of ourselves. Number 16. The Stoic Practice of Cultivating Inner Harmony and Peace Stoicism emphasizes the importance of developing a state of inner harmony and peace, regardless of external circumstances. This principle focuses on fostering a deep sense of contentment and tranquility within oneself, which is considered essential for a fulfilling and virtuous life. Inner harmony in Stoicism is achieved by aligning one's thoughts and actions with one's core values and principles. It involves creating a balance between different aspects of life, the emotional, intellectual, physical, and spiritual. This balance is not static but requires continuous adjustment and mindfulness to maintain. By achieving this inner alignment, individuals can experience a profound sense of peace and well-being, even amidst the chaos and challenges of the external world. Cultivating inner peace, according to Stoicism, requires a detachment from the external factors that are beyond our control. This detachment does not mean apathy or lack of engagement with the world. Instead, it's about recognizing the limits of our influence and focusing our energy and attention on our own thoughts, choices, and attitudes. By doing so, we can remain calm and composed, even in challenging situations. This stoic practice also involves the acceptance of life's impermanence and the transient nature of both joys and sorrows. Stoics believe that by embracing the temporary nature of external conditions, we can reduce our attachment to them and thus mitigate the impact they have on our inner tranquility. Mindfulness and self-reflection are key components of cultivating inner harmony and peace. Regularly taking time to introspect and meditate allows us to connect with our inner selves, understand our true desires, and manage our emotions more effectively. This introspection helps in identifying and addressing any internal conflicts or turmoil, thereby fostering a more harmonious internal state. Additionally, Stoicism encourages the practice of gratitude and focusing on the present moment. By appreciating what we have and living fully in the now, we can avoid excessive worry about the future or regret about the past, further contributing to our sense of inner peace. Moreover, Stoicism advocates for the cultivation of virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. These virtues serve as guiding principles for our actions and decisions, and their practice contributes to a harmonious and balanced life.
In summary, the Stoic practice of cultivating inner harmony and peace is about building a strong, serene, and stable core within ourselves. It involves aligning our internal world with our true values, accepting what we cannot change, and focusing on our personal growth and virtue. By embracing this principle, we can navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and resilience, and find lasting contentment and fulfillment. Number 17. The Stoic Attitude Toward Managing Expectations and Aspirations Stoicism teaches the importance of managing expectations and aspirations with a balanced and realistic mindset. This principle is grounded in the understanding that our peace of mind and contentment are often influenced by how we set and perceive our goals and the outcomes we anticipate. The stoic attitude towards expectations involves cultivating a sense of flexibility and openness to different outcomes. Stoics advocate for setting goals and working diligently towards them, but also for maintaining a level of detachment from specific results. This approach helps in mitigating disappointment if things do not unfold as planned and allows for a more adaptive response to changing circumstances. In managing aspirations, Stoicism encourages us to pursue objectives that are aligned with our values and virtues, rather than external markers of success or societal validation. This perspective shifts the focus from achieving external accolades to personal growth and fulfillment. Aspirations, according to Stoicism, should not be about attaining perfection or constant happiness, but about striving to live a meaningful and virtuous life. This Stoic principle also emphasizes the importance of being present and finding contentment in the current moment, rather than constantly looking ahead to future achievements or dwelling on past successes or failures. By focusing on the here and now, we can appreciate the journey of striving towards our goals, rather than fixating solely on the destination. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of our limitations and to set realistic and achievable goals. This does not mean limiting our ambitions but recognizing the balance between what is within our power and what is not. Understanding and accepting these boundaries can lead to more achievable aspirations and a greater sense of satisfaction. The practice of managing expectations and aspirations also involves being honest with ourselves about our motives and intentions. Stoicism encourages introspection to ensure that our goals are genuinely reflective of our true desires and values, rather than being influenced by external pressures or the expectations of others. In essence, the Stoic attitude toward managing expectations and aspirations is about finding harmony between ambition and acceptance. It's about setting meaningful goals and working earnestly towards them, while also embracing the unpredictability of life and finding joy and contentment in the present. By integrating this principle into our lives, we cultivate a balanced approach to our aspirations, enhancing our resilience, satisfaction, and overall well-being. Number 18. The Stoic Practice of Compassionate Detachment Stoicism advocates for a practice known as compassionate detachment, which involves engaging with the world and its inhabitants with empathy and kindness, while maintaining a healthy emotional distance. This principle is designed to foster a sense of inner calm and stability, even when faced with the challenges and suffering inherent in life. Compassionate detachment is about caring deeply for others and the world at large, but without becoming overly emotionally entangled in situations that are beyond our control. It teaches us to offer support and understanding, but without shouldering the burdens of others as if they were our own. This approach helps in preserving our emotional energy and maintaining a clear perspective, enabling us to be more effective in our support and actions. The practice involves recognizing the common humanity we share with others and responding to their experiences with genuine concern and kindness. At the same time, it also entails acknowledging the limits of our influence and the importance of respecting others' autonomy and capacity to handle their own challenges. By striking this balance, we can be compassionate and supportive, yet not be overwhelmed by the emotional weight of the problems we encounter. In personal relationships, compassionate detachment means caring for loved ones and being there for them, but without becoming excessively anxious or stressed about their problems. It's about offering help and advice when appropriate, but also allowing them the space to make their own decisions and learn from their experiences. In dealing with broader societal issues, this Stoic principle guides us to contribute positively to the world, through acts of charity, advocacy, or volunteer work, but without becoming so emotionally consumed by these issues that it impedes our ability to function effectively or enjoy our own lives. Compassionate detachment also extends to how we handle our own problems. 
It teaches us to approach our challenges with a calm and pragmatic mindset, addressing issues constructively while not becoming overly self-critical or despairing. Practicing compassionate detachment requires mindfulness and self-awareness. It involves regularly reflecting on our emotional responses and actively working to maintain a balance between empathy and equanimity. Techniques such as meditation, journaling, or engaging in reflective conversations can be helpful in cultivating this practice. In summary, the Stoic practice of compassionate detachment is about engaging with the world in a caring and empathetic manner, while also preserving our own emotional well-being. It's a delicate balance between involvement and detachment, allowing us to be compassionate and supportive without being consumed by the emotions and problems of others. By embracing this principle, we can lead a life that is both caring and emotionally balanced, contributing positively to the world while maintaining our inner peace. Stoicism, a philosophy deeply rooted in the pursuit of inner peace and contentment, offers invaluable guidance in a world rife with external distractions and the lure of material desires. It teaches us that the essence of true happiness lies within, urging us not to hinge our sense of peace and contentment on external factors or the acquisition of material possessions. By embracing this stoic principle, we cultivate resilience and self-reliance, essential qualities for leading a well-lived life. This ancient wisdom provides a holistic framework for living with wisdom, virtue, and tranquility. Stoicism does not merely advise restraint in what aspects of our lives we share with others, it also underscores the cultivation of qualities like discretion, humility, and resilience. Adhering to these stoic principles equips us to gracefully handle the complexities of the modern world, enhancing our ability to build meaningful relationships and find fulfillment in our endeavors. In an era where the temptation to overshare and seek external validation is pervasive, Stoicism stands as a timeless beacon, reminding us that the foundations of true happiness and virtue are internal. We appreciate your attention to this video and are eager to engage with your thoughts and reflections. Of the seven things that Stoicism suggests keeping private, which resonates most profoundly with you, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you find this video insightful, we encourage you to like and share it with others who might also benefit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we look forward to continuing this journey of learning and growth together with you.